Good evening. It is August 20th, 2024 at uh, 6.01 p.m. Uh, in the Selectman's Chambers. I'd like to call this meeting to order and the roll call, please. Teresa A. Moss, present. George Shane, present. And Chad Sexton, Durini, and present. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank all those that have served our country, both past and present, and our first responders. Uh, tonight's meeting is being recorded. Is anyone else recording? Yep. And it will be uploaded on YouTube. Um, hoping that we are going to be live on Channel 9 as well. 4.1 Chairman's Additions and Deletions. Um, do I have anything? Nothing. Joe? 1.4, you said 4.1. Okay. 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 1.5, review and approve the meeting minutes. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the 8-5 and the 8-6 2024 meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Any discussion on those? I did not see any changes. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Yes, I'm not sure. Thank you, Sabrina. Test six and reunion. Um, we know we have nothing 3.0. Um, we have two appointments. Um, we have uh, one that we've already visited, and we have another new one in regards to the Historic District Commission. Um, So my question to the board is, um, we'll start with Mary Jane Churchville. Um, we did take that up in our last meeting. Are we going to be taking this up again? You took it up in the August 6th meeting? No. No. We took it in before that. Yeah, that I don't think was an appointment. That was for a renewal of return, which left a blank. And this is for an appointment. To so I'd like to see it brought up. Well, the form that mm -hmm. was submitted to me that was stamped in by the clerk was a request for reappointment. To it the is board. for reappointment. Okay. And I we've already understand. we've already you know, voted on a reappointment for the individual. Um, the second volunteer response form um, that we've received for the historic district commission. Uh, was for Laura E. Schifrin. Um, she's a real estate broker. Uh, I'll entertain a motion uh, to appoint Laura E. Schifrin on the Historic District Commission. Um, effective today, 8 20, 2024, to 6 30, 2027. So moved. Second. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Chair Sainz, motion. Chair Shank, yes. Chair Six and Green, yes. Thank you, Lori, for helping us out. Four point one: Discuss vote on surplus request of the fire department. Um, I believe you all got the information in regards to the. Uh, fire department, um, they're requesting the following equipment be declared surplus by the Board of Selectmen. It is a 2005 Polaris Sportsman 6x6 ATV and a 2005 Caravan Single Place Snowmobile ATV and an ATV tilt trailer. Guys, have any objections? So go right, right to a motion. Mm -hmm. So I'll entertain a motion to surplus um, the equipment as listed. Um, listed on the agenda. So the following equipment be declared surplus by the Board of Selectmen of a 2005 Polaris Sportsman 6x6 ATV and a 2005 Caravan Single Place Snowmobile 
and an ATV tow trailer. Shovel. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Chessex and Dwayne, yes. Uh, 4.2, discuss last minute fiscal year 25 budget items. Well, <laughs> I hope there aren't any last minute changes. I think we're set for town meeting. I'd like to get discuss the procedure, like what happens if it gives that the law. So my question is, as I understand it from when I worked on the board, uh, school board, if both Ashby and Townsend reject the budget tonight, mm -hmm. then the town, uh, North and North Six School District, continues to need to work on using the one month budget from last year. Mm -hmm. So each month we hold out, we're basically, in my opinion, saving money. Is that a correct statement? Or do we have to end up paying it back? Like I, I don't remember that. I remember going to a month on my budget, but I don't think we ever got that money back. Like the new money started when the budget was finally passed, but I don't know. That's a good question. So they're Thank on you. a one twelfth <laughs> budget of last year. Right. But do we do we make up the one twelfth going back to the beginning? So or do it, is like the longer we hold out, the more we say? It depends on how they want to what number they want to ask the town for. So if we both vote no, they've got I think thirty days to come back with a revised number. It could be the same number as before, or it could be the same number minus two twelfths. You know that they haven't used. Well, when we it could finally be any number come they, to they, an agreement, whether it's a month from now, three months from now, or whatever. That agreement goes from that day forward. It doesn't back pay, so they get more than that one twelfth budget. They have to use that one twelfth budget. No, exactly. They, they could ask for whatever number they want. You might argue that they don't need the full number because they've gone. A couple months at a lower rate, but technically, all we can do is vote up or down the number they sent us. And what's in the warrant is a number that we picked because it, we can balance the budget. It gives a little, little bit more than a zero increase, but not as much as they asked for. Okay. So, if it gets if the article is approved tonight as submitted. It's essentially a no vote to the school number because it's not what they asked for. And then, and then to to continue on with that, if both towns say no to that, then we would then have to wait for the school to come back to us. We then would have to have another town meeting. Yeah, I know that process, but I just didn't know how it worked. Like, well, I think my understanding is that Desi sent set the the one twelfth budget, and then from the time that we we agree on the budget and then we go from that point. I don't think we have to pay anything back. The way I understand it, Ashby starts their special town meeting at 6 p.m. tonight. Correct. And I've spoke with town administrator up there, the fire chief actually up there, and um, they have balanced their budget and the way they feel that it's going to pass because they didn't hire police officers. So if they vote for their budget, that means we're going to be on the hook for it no matter what we do. For the July 10th no. um, ass uh, assessment. Yes. I, I, I understood that part. Mm -hmm. so, that's going to vote the other part. Okay. You all set? <laughs> um, I know that Ross and I were putting, making sure that we had all the documentation right. Um, there's some other uh, documents that I, you know that we or savings that we had gone through. So we'll be discussing that in the meeting that we talked about in the last meeting. But outside of that, I think we're ready to go. We have all the materials ready. Town councils all ready. <laughs> we, we've had meetings to make sure that we're all ready to go. So. Um, Four point three: Review and sign Worcester Road and Todd Road. 
Edward Road Chapter 90 projects. Um, have you guys had a chance to take a look at those? Um, I know that when we were talking about Chapter 90, um, with the Chapter 90, we agreed that these two were going to be the ones that were going to be on, on the plan for this. I don't have any questions. If you guys don't have any questions, then I'll entertain a motion to to approve the Worcester Road and Todd Road, Edward Road, Chapter 90 projects. Shall we? Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Can I say no, sure. Sure, Shank, yes. Charles six in the room. While we're doing that, I'll go ahead and uh, move forward, if that's okay. Um, our next meeting is going to be at 7 o'clock in about 45 minutes. Um, I'll entertain a motion to review and sign payroll and bills payable warrants out of session. So moved. Second. Move and second. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor? Motion. Yes. Yes. Um, I do want to go to town administrator activities. Well, we don't have that on there. It's not on there. Well, there's not on there. I would just ask that we have a meeting next Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Um, we might start at 6, but 7 o'clock to hear a grievance. Twenty-seven at seven p.m. I don't know if the board wants to meet ahead of time or not. But the grievance will be at seven. We want to hear a grievance. Should we at least be updated before we get there? Uh, if you, if you'd like, sure. It's going to be an executive session, so they're set to come in at seven. So should we meet before? You can update us on what's going on if you'd like. Sure. It's only six thirty. Yeah. We don't have. Announcements on here, Sabrina. Sorry, we'll save these for the coming. I mean, uh, the next meeting. Um, so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Are those in favor? Should they in the chat? Yes. Yes. Thank you, and we'll see everybody at seven o'clock.